see myself grabbing it that often. I just got blue all over my finger. Thank God it didn't get on my white shirt. Oh my God, this white shirt has been through the ring. Happy video day, guys. So today's video, I actually had this idea and it just came to me last week when I was filming a video and I said, gosh, I've never seen anybody do this before, but we should do this, you know, because this is an important video. How many eyeshadow palettes have I really added to my collection in 2018? Just to kind of like get an idea, how much stuff have I bought to add to my collection in 2018? So I decided to search the archives. I went through my videos, I went through my makeup drawer to find every single eyeshadow palette I purchased in 2018 to see how many items I added to my collection. So let's get into this ridiculousness of how many eyeshadow palettes I added to my collection in 2018. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Christina Brooke and this is The Glam Ranch. I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys wanna participate in my giveaway, I am having a giveaway for December for all my subscribers. So I'd love it if you guys would love to be a new subscriber to my channel and hit that little subscribe button. And if you guys are a subscriber, hi there again. So let's get to this. And guys, I, 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 I feel a little, you know, as I was going through and picking out some of the stuff, I was kind of like, oh, ah, like, kind of like realization of how many like eyeshadow palettes I've purchased and I kind of was like, hmm, should I film this video? And I started thinking like, maybe I won't film this video. And then I was like, you need to film this video. You need to document how many things you bought this year so that next year, you know, you kind of stop yourself. And you say, you know what, Christina, maybe is the point that you stop. You stop and you stop buying it. Now, these are all products that I purchased with my own money. This is nothing that was sent to me. I purchased all of these items that I'm putting in this video. I'm also not including any of the items that I received from BoxyCharm because I do receive a lot of eyeshadow palettes in my BoxyCharm, but I didn't wanna put those in here just because I didn't actually pick them. If you guys wanna see like a separate video that I'll tell you guys all the items that I added also with BoxyCharm, I'll do that one. The problem is, is that sometimes I don't even keep some of the BoxyCharm um, eyeshadow palettes, so I'm not including those. I'm only gonna include the palettes that I purchased myself this year. And let's start off. Let's start it off, okay. I wasn't that frugal this year, I'll tell you that much. I was not, I was not, I was bad. Let's start off with this guy right here. So I purchased the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini. I love this palette, so I am not regretting this one at all. This is a beautiful palette. And actually, you know what I just said the other day? I didn't have that many vibrant colors. I forgot, this one is super vibrant. I also did not hold back on spending a lot of cash on palettes because I purchased the Natasha Denona um, Gold Palette. This is her new release that I just thought was beautiful. And I've used this guy a lot. You guys can tell how much I've used it since I purchased it and I love it, so I'm happy with this. Another palette that I purchased this year was from ColourPop and it's the Mod Palette. And I will tell you, even though it is a beautiful palette, I don't really use it that often, but it is so pretty. I do like it and I still like it. I just don't use it that often. Okay, so another palette that I purchased this year is the NYX Ignite Palette. This one I just purchased not that long ago and it looks like this. It's another really pretty palette that I got this year. So this one here, I was really excited for. This is the KKW Beauty Mario Collaboration Palette. And I do like this palette a lot. It's a very neutral palette and I do see myself reaching for it a lot because the colors in here are so easy to use. Happy so far with the purchases at least, you know? So this one here is from Colored Rain and this is the Queen of Hearts. This is another beautiful eyeshadow palette that I love so much. And yeah, I'm happy with this one too. I think the pigmentation is great. You guys have seen me talk about this one. So this one here I purchased in the beginning of the year and it's from Violet Voss and it's the rainbow eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you guys remember me doing like a double eye look with this one in the beginning of the year. So yeah, I purchased this one this year. I will tell you for being such a pretty palette, I don't see myself grabbing it that often. I just got blue all over my finger. Thank God it didn't get on my white shirt. Oh my God, this white shirt has been through the ringer. I told you guys I did not like hold myself back with spending some money this year because I bought also a Pat McGrath palette this year. This one here is the Mothership 5. Um, like I told you guys before in the beginning, I wasn't sure and then now I've actually gotten quite fond of it. I actually wore this on Thanksgiving as well. Another palette that I purchased this year is the New Nude from Huda Beauty. This is such a pretty palette. I love this palette so much. I'm happy with this purchase as well. It's just beautiful. Everything 
anything about it. So now I've got two other Natasha Denonas that I purchased this year. I purchased the mini Lila palette and it's a good palette. You know, I will tell you now owning one of her larger palettes I don't think the formulas are the same, but some of these mattes do blend really good and are very good mattes, but I think like the shimmery shades in these aren't the same, not exactly the same. Um, the mini sunset palette. This is probably the mini of hers that I was the most disappointed in here. I think the colors are beautiful. I just don't think that it is the same formula. It's a good little mini palette though. Like if you guys want just a good mini palette, this is a really good one. It's just, if you know her formula, you kind of think like, this is not the same. I'm hoping that I have all of the palettes here, but I think I do. So I purchased this one from Koki and this is the Artist palette and I still do really like this palette. I just don't reach for it that often, I guess because of the colors. Like I said, maybe in the spring, I'll start grabbing this one more. Okay, so this one here is from Dose of Colors and it's the Marvelous Mauves palette. I thought I was gonna love this palette more than I do and I know a lot of people really like this palette and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but yeah. This one is pretty decent. This one's okay, you know, but I do like the colors. This is the Maybelline um, Soda Pop. I don't think I've used this one enough to like really say that it's great or bad or whatever, but I did use it on Halloween and I do think that the pigment was really good and I did a really cool eye look for Halloween. So this is a pretty nice palette. Do I grab it all the time? No, but then again, I've got so many. How could I? Now this is another, this is a mini from Huda Beauty. This is their mini obsessions palette. I really like this emerald obsession. Sessions. I just think the colors in here are so different and unique to my collection. I don't have like these type of greens, so it was such a good addition to my collection. Another one I added was the Born to Run from Urban Decay. I'm really happy I added this one this year. So this is one of the last palettes that I've purchased this year and it's from Marc Jacobs and it is this beautiful little palette. You guys just finished seeing me do a, a whole review on it, a first impression, and this is their Leopard Frost collection. If you guys haven't seen this review, you guys gotta see it. I love this, this is so beautiful. I just added it to my collection just recently, so I have to keep on trying it, but so far I'm pretty obsessed with it. I also have a few more palettes that I picked up this year, but I haven't tried them yet. I'm not including them in the video until I try them because I don't think it counts. Like if I bought it, but I haven't tried, I don't think it counts, right? So let's see how many I've gotten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I've added 17 eyeshadow palettes to my collection. So like almost like the year, right? 2018, I got 17. I still can buy one more. That is, so I have added 17 eyeshadow palettes to my collection this year. That's pretty bad. <laughs> So that is all the palettes that I added to my collection this year. So there was 17 of them. I do have two more sitting there, like I said, and I also have BoxyCharm ones, but I'm not counting those. So 17. 17. So I'm gonna be doing a second half of this video that I'm gonna be telling you guys from this collection that I've added to my collection, which have been the best and which ones have been the worst. So if you guys wanna see how I rank all of these eyeshadow palettes that I have purchased in 2018, I will be having that video coming up pretty soon, so. Yeah, that's what we've done here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know below how many eyeshadow palettes have you added to your collection in 2018. And I will tell you guys in 2019, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to not buy as many eyeshadow palettes unless it like really stands, even though I did, guys, like these were kind of ones that really stood out to me, but I'm gonna try even harder to not buy them unless they really stand out to me, so. And if, if you guys want me to buy it because you guys want to see a review on it, I mean, <laughs> then I'm just gonna have to buy it then, right? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me your comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.